what took place here today was highlighting some technologies that we think are amplified by being able to connect to the internet and the resulting ability to move information to be responsive to data and to be able to make really better decisions on the farm by getting the information to the right places. Some new interesting bandwidth has come open through the Federal Communications that allows us to leverage some interesting new technologies to create private, essentially cell phone data networks. Now that this, this connectivity is available, let's highlight some interesting use cases and some technologies that can leverage this technology to get this data in the right place at the right time. Rural broadband is, is definitely an issue. It's going to take fixed wireless. It's going to take fiber optic cable. It's going to take different technologies to meet the needs all over because those last mile deployments are the hardest ones to reach. All the, the interesting and high value technologies that are coming out from um, these, in, these data analytics companies, original equipment manufacturers, they're essentially assuming connectivity. So for us to be able to leverage the latest technologies, the latest tools, and, and to really get the greatest value out of the investments that you're making in a new tractor or combine, for example, you need to be able to get the information off of that and make a good decision from it. If we don't have good connectivity, people in our local rural communities who have great insight, have great um, innovation to share that can, that can really solve local problems in their communities, they may not have the ability to get the resources they need to get out off the ground or to deliver that solution in a meaningful way. So I'm learning how to connect people that are doing things with broadband and liking it to be like a puzzle piece finder. So I find people that are working in broadband that I think is relevant to anything in cooperative extension and try to connect those things into the network and the knowledge of cooperative extension service. There's a few backbones across rural, rural eastern North Carolina, you know, where the kind of the data all kind of lives. And we need to be able to get middle mile from the backbone and then last mile to wherever it's being used. And crossing that divide is, is really the, the huge piece. And so I, to me, if we can do that with wirelessly and maybe avoid some of the physical infrastructure costs, that's a real option. But really, whatever that looks like to get it from, from the backbones into the doorways or at the farm gates, is that's really the gap we've got across. Here at Harvey Farms, they already had a dedicated RTK tower, so it's real-time kinematic. It's a very precise GPS signal, and that allows them to leverage automatic steering systems or other uh, kind of GPS technologies very accurately. We essentially were able to bring hardline internet to that tower, and then once it gets to that tower, we then rebroadcast that signal on what's called private LTE, right? So it's just like your phone says LTE if it's on a 4G. It's, it's the same, same technology, but it's in a different bandwidth. And that bandwidth is called CBRS, Citizens Band Radio Service. And so that's the new spectrum that's been made available. And so what we were able to demonstrate here is how you can actually connect hardline internet to a wireless access point, essentially, that is a local dedicated data network for a fixed area. Awareness is one thing, but when you pass awareness, what, what's next? It's the affordability. Can you afford to adopt the technology that's out there? And then once you adopt it, how do you use it? There's lots of money flowing into the deployment of broadband. I'm going to position the corporate extension to be that resource where people learn how to use the technology once it's there. So the digital skills, the digital literacy that takes farmers, ranchers, they're going to need new digital skills to be able to use the technology that's being deployed all around them. The more people you can get signed on to service, it justifies companies deploying broadband down a road. If they know they're going to use the broadband, they'd be more likely to run the fiber uh, down that road. Broadband is ubiquitous. It's going to create an ecosystem of innovation with farms, with rural people. They're, they're going to be able to learn how to use the technology that's there. Uh, farmers are some of the most creative and innovative people that once they have a resource, they're going to find a ways to use it to make their product better, to be able to improve the quality of their farm. If we can demonstrate its value to local decision makers 
and to end customers so that they understand you know, what they're already paying for or what they're missing, and then for communities to understand that this is something we could do. And I think if they can see that model that we can solve problems in rural North Carolina with expertise in rural North Carolina if we just had the ability to connect it to the rest of the world.